Here is Pop Playboys. Welcome back to another video. Look how Dusty looking, you guys. It's so dark out here. What's going on? Well, dark in the camera. But look at Dusty. She looks so dang good, bro. Look at that. Damn. But in today's video, man, we're going to be installing this gauge pod that I bought off of Etsy. This gauge pod goes right inside your AC vent, and I think it's going to look amazing in the car. As you guys know, if you guys watched my last video with the flex fuel kit, they gave me a gauge pod to sit right here. Man, I don't really like that look. And plus, I don't really think it's a good place for it to go because when I'm driving, my main focus is what in, what's in front of me, not what's below me. Even though it's an ethanol gauge and all, all it's going to do is tell me what type of ethanol the car is running, I still want it to be somewhere in my eyesight. So I think having it right here in this little uh, vent will be perfect. So this is the kit that I bought off of Etsy. This is 3D printed. Came with a top, well, I think this is the top, and this is the bottom. But yeah, this is the main thing I'm really worried about. But yeah, it came off with SE. Um, fits right here, like just like this. And man, I feel like that's gonna look fire. I'm gonna put the link down below in case anybody wants to buy one. He, uh, he does make it for both vents, so you could buy both of them for $50, or you could buy one of them for 30. I just bought one for 30 because I don't have any other gauge spots to install. I mean, other gauges to install, so yeah, that's the reason why I only have one. But uh, it's a really simple process of doing it. You just gotta pop off your vent. And uh, I already started a little bit. Like literally, all you have to do is just pull off right here. And uh, pull off right there, pull off right there. There's four taps, so I think there's two here and then two up top. I can't really do it with one hand, so I'm gonna set the camera down and I'll pop it off real quick and then show you guys exactly on how I did it. Five minutes later. All right, so boom, pulled it off, simple as that. Literally all I did was pry up from the bottom stick my fingernails on the sides of the, of the vent and literally just pulled it off it's really easy really really simple and uh, doesn't require too much force all right guys so once you get your pot out what you're gonna do you're gonna remove those four screws this one I believe yeah so this one this one this one and this one and that's gonna allow you to take this back piece off and uh, remove it from the vent Once you get those four screws out, just pull up and boom, this is what you need. Now what you have to do, you have to remove those two clips. You see those? Really, really easy. Just pry it off. I think I could do it with one hand. It goes one, and then two, boom. Put that aside. If you guys do want to wrap it or spray paint it, this would be the time for you guys to do that. But I'm going to leave mine like this for now. And uh, next, you're going to get a fly head. I'm gonna need two hands to hold this up, or maybe I could try it with one hand. Let's see, let's see. Wish I had my tripod right now, this would be easier. But yeah, I can't do this with one hand. But yeah, what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a flathead, stick it in between these grooves. Not these, but this right here, like the, right here. And you're just gonna pry it up. And it should be really easy. All right guys, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna grab your piece that was connected to that. And it's going to be these three flaps that are inside. What you're going to do, you're going to push down on each one of them and just pull them out. The reason why you're doing that is because the gauge is going to be too big. And those pieces sit like real close to like right here. And that's where your gauge is supposed to be sitting. And that's going to be uh, affecting your gauge. You won't be able to put your gauge in. Also, you're going to remove these. That's connected to that. Wait, isn't it connected to that? No, it's not connected to that. This is going to be its own separate piece. You're going to remove these two sides. And that's going to be connected to this by using a flathead. And once it comes off, you just push them off. And this is going to be in the middle. You put this aside. Keep that for safe keeps or whatever you want to do with it. And these are the two pieces that you're really just going to need. These two pieces. Alright guys, so I basically have it set up. I'm going to put the pictures right here. Or I'm going to put the link in the description on how you're supposed to do this. Um, it's really, really simple. But you can't mess up because it's fairly easy to mess up. This is the top. 
and this is the bottom right here he gives you two different pieces obviously you can tell which one's the top and which one's the bottom because the top is smaller than the, i mean the top is bigger than the bottom but here's where you're going to mess up at there's, there, there's a back and there's a front so this is the front the straight flat part and then the back one has like an indent i guess for it to be able to move and stuff but yeah i'm gonna put the pictures so you guys will you guys will know what i mean but yeah don't mess up doing that because if you do you won't be able to get it on um getting it on is really really easy it might be a little tight but you can force it in and i guess that since it's tight it's never going to fall out which is good and that's actually how i like it so yeah now we're going to do the reversal of what we did with taking it out we're going to put everything back in uh screw everything back in and then uh see how i can run this gauge pod it should be really really simple and uh i can't wait bro it's gonna look so good in the car all right guys so basically got everything all in well not everything but got the gauge in um it was a little pain in the butt to get it in because you do have to slide that that uh two brackets back inside and uh while doing it the top and bottom tends to fall out sometimes and uh it didn't take me long to do it but it was really annoying because it kept falling out but yeah it's in looks good from right here now it's time to put back the rest of the trim put that bad boy in the car see what that thing is talking about you feel me yes sir and boom guys got it in look how great that looks it looks so oh man it's gonna look so good in the car having it in this way looks way better than having it in that little small change holder this is like literally around my eyes and it's clean it's subtle and i don't gotta do no drilling in the car man this thing look good all right you guys so all i have to do now is just wire the wires going through uh try to have it clean as i can have it and uh yeah that should be it I'm trying to make sure like I don't see any wires, so if I could do that, that'd be great. I'm 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 pretty sure I could do that, but these wires are pretty damn long. Like these wires could go to the back of the car if they really wanted to. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I could do and uh, show you guys after. So let's get it. All right, guys. So Gage is in the car. Look how fire that looks, you guys. Damn, that looks good. Now let's turn on the car. Ooh, that looks good. That's perfect. That's right in my eye view. Damn, that's fire. But all right, you guys, that's rounding off the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to go purchase one of those gauge spots, I'm going to leave it down in the description. Please make sure you guys like and comment on this video. Doing so will help this video gain more popularity. And uh, I think it deserves it because that's a pretty cool mod. But yeah, man, the boy's out. Peace.